What's going on, you guys? Brian Paul sitting in here. Uh, VR is always playing very VR. V I R R Y VR. This is the second time I've tried to do this uh, Let's Play. Um, the first time uh, didn't go so well because, as you see, this this live um, footage being transmitted from Africa, I believe. Uh, and anytime you switch over to that. It uh, kicks you out of VR mode. It's uh, you have to watch it in cinema mode. It's so it's a live feed from a non 360 camera. Um, not sure exactly what the point of that is. This is called very VR. Uh, obviously, you can exit VR mode and just do this on your standard TV, I guess. Um, but let's go. Uh, let's go up here to the woodland and check out Green Hill Zone. Now. This is, as you'll, you'll see very quickly, um, it's a uh, it's a safari simulator, I guess. Uh, and there there are cool things about it. Um, you'll see this guy right here. He, uh, I, I turned the narration off, just FYI. There's there's this woman who talks incessantly. Uh, luckily, you can turn her off completely, and uh, and we get to do this in peace and quiet. Now, the video quality is markedly better than those uh, 360 videos on YouTube. And when the animals get real close to you, like this guy's doing here, uh, that's when that's when this experience really shines. You can see like so much detail in it, and it feels like he's pretty close to you. You know, it, they they ask you trivia, which just ruins everything. Um, you can see a lot of detail, you can see the flies on him, and uh, it's it's cool, he almost looks fake, because like, like, when do you ever get a chance to see these things up close? Uh, there's mud on the camera, which is takes you out of the experience, but the fact that they could capture footage that's that's this good is, uh, is pretty awesome, so I'm not really complaining. There's some warping going on here. Obviously, the uh, he's way too close to the camera. He's knocking it around a little bit, so uh, it's jostling my vision. Uh, and they added uh, vibration to the DualShock controls. It may be unnecessary. Uh, it definitely feels a little cheesy in that regard. But again, it is super cool to see these things up close. Uh, if you've got a kid, I think this is this is the way to go. Um, I personally, like as <laughs> as cool as I think this is, I have a hard time recommending anything that's uh, you know edutainment, which is I guess what they'd call it. Here we can, we can back out of this one and go check out something else. Because um, it's not it's not a game, I'm in, and there's nothing wrong with with it not being a game, but at the same time, you know, it's, uh, y your enjoyment will be fairly limited. You can blast through all of these different locations in just a few minutes, um, probably like 20 minutes, I'm guessing. Uh, I haven't seen this one yet. Let's go check him out. So... You know, I, I guess your uh, your enjoyment will vary depending on what you what you whoa. That zebra has seen better days, for sure. I feel like I should say a prayer or something. What do, what are we doing here? Nope. Oh, here we are. Hello. Uh, so, like I said, there is there is narration. If you if you're curious to learn more about these animals, there is a woman who will talk to you uh, and, uh, and give you a little trivia and stuff. Like as you just saw, like, you have to answer the trivia question no matter what. Um, but it shouldn't really like hinder your experience here. Uh, well, since we're watching a hyena, I'm gonna go with hyena. It's pretty obvious. Man. 
I don't know if you can hear those sirens, but something crazy must be happening uh, here in Worcester. It sounds like many, many sirens all at once out there. Oh, wow. That's pretty cool to see. You know, obviously it was like a rotting carcass, but like, to see, just pull the skin away like that, it looks so, it looks, you know, fake. This isn't the kind of stuff you ever get to see up close. I want to snuggle with the hyena. Is that wrong? Is he going to take the whole skin? Does he have a use for that, or is he just going to eat the rest of the... the meat? <laughs> ah, I feel like watching The Lion King now. Yeah, uh, so... I mean, I've got nothing, I've got, which is stronger? Oh, well, since they're asking, it's obviously females. Uh, there's nothing, you know, wrong with this experience. It's, it's $10. It is, it's, you know, it's cool to see when, like, I wish this, this guy would get up closer, but I mean, you can't control wildlife. Oh, everything just got super low res. What happened here? I don't know, let's back up a little bit. All right, we'll check out one more uh, while I'm rambling. Um, I don't think I've seen the elephants yet. I think I think the biggest uh, problem that this thing has is that those cameras, the live feed cameras, are not 360 degree cameras. I can't imagine when when you start this game up, it asks you. It says, hey, you, uh, we've given you a three-month free membership to our little v very VR club. Let's shake the controller to throw out branches. Okay. Uh, and, it, and so it's after three months, after you've, after you've used this for three months, it's, it, there's going to be a paid subscription uh, to, to access those cameras. And they're not even 360-degree cameras, so it's called very VR, and it's not even in VR. Uh, I'm kind of curious to know, like, how, how, how dare you ask for money? Oh, hello. Jeez. <laughs> how dare you ask for money for something that's not even, uh, you know, full-featured? I went over to the cameras uh, and checked them out in cinema mode, again, 2D, and only one of them was functioning. Uh, the other two had notifications that said the cameras were down for maintenance. I'm like, okay, well, if that's what you want to do on your launch day, um, is is have cameras that are down, and then say, and then immediately follow that up with, hey, do you want to subscribe to our very VR, uh, blah blah blah. It it just seems like they they took the wrong approach all around here. So again, what is here is is cool to watch. Uh, if if it's worth it to you to. Uh, for to to watch animals for 20 or 30 minutes uh, in 360 degree video, um, then go spend your ten dollars. Uh, I'd have a hard time recommending it because I don't know, there's just not enough here. Go buy Mortal Blitz instead. That game's awesome. All right. Whoa. What an interesting way to end the video. I, I don't I don't know what we're asking here. Watching an elephant pee. Well, that kinda says it all, doesn't it? Alright, well guys, thank you for watching this mildly entertaining, relatively uninteresting let's play. Um I, I couldn't do a review on this because god there's just not enough to say about it. Um, so hopefully this Let's Play was, uh, was educational enough for you to make you uh, make an informed purchase. Uh, but as always, guys, thank you so much for watching Without Pearl Games. Please subscribe to the channel. Please pass the word along. We need, uh, obviously, how big what? <laughs> I guess I shouldn't have turned the, the narrator off. It doesn't matter. Um, 
yeah, spread the word, guys. We we have we only have a couple thousand subscribers. We'd love to have so many more to make a so that we can keep bringing the content to you. It, it does make a difference. Um, it makes a huge difference to know that a lot of people are watching. Um, so, but I appreciate you watching right now. So, thank you very much. We love you all. <laughs>